Hi guys, happy Thursday. <laughs> I hope everyone is having an awesome day and an awesome week. Hi guys, hello. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining. If you're watching the playback, thank you for watching as well. Hi, I have your earrings on Taylor. If anybody missed it from the last couple weeks, uh, my friend Taylor has an awesome permanent code for you guys to use at checkout at our Etsy shop tailored for you at on Etsy and you can type in um, Hillary 2016 to get an awesome discount on these super fun earrings that she makes and lots of other fun things. So um, if you are new to my Periscope channel, my name is Hillary LeMay and I am an essential oil educator with doTERRA and I love sharing and teaching and empowering my team um, and all of you to enjoy this essential life. Hi Alex! And um, this is just such a fun platform to connect and make new friends and share the excitement and enthusiasm that we have for the oils. Um, so if you don't have anyone else in your life that is as excited about oils as I am or you are, then we have each other and we can share this together. So um, I've been working my way through the recipes in my two favorite books. Uh, one of them is the Essential Life book, which is awesome. Hi. And this I give free to everyone that um, purchases a kit of oils because I think Think it's great to have education and it's inspiring and it's got lots of recipes oh thank you I just got my haircut from Carly the other day got my layers trimmed up curls by Carly she's the jam I'm also taking my vitamins <laughs> um, but this book has lots of great recipes and um, actually on page 395 there are a couple of recipes for body splashes and body mists and things like that. And so um, this book is always my inspiration. But in addition, if any of you have been oiling for a long time, you might have the original blog book. Um, this is the uh, essential uses book that doTERRA put out from all of their blog recipes. This came out in 2013. And I've also been eyeing some of these recipes in the back, which is the inspiration from one of my for one of the perfumes today. Um, this is page 185 or 153, 153. So um, there's lots of great recipes out there for perfumes, um, but you know, if you have any questions as we go through, you can always send me a message. My information is on my Periscope profile page, or you can send me a message through Instagram at Hillary LeMay or on Facebook. I would love to be new friends and connect with you and share. Um, I have a public oil group that I am one of the administrators for on Facebook. So if you wanna send me a friend request, I would love to share that with you. It's a great place to find recipes and inspiration and I post there usually once a day or so um, with lots of things. But if you are new to Periscope, you can swipe at the bottom. You can swipe up or swipe across and you can tap, 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 tap <laughs> the bottom of your screen with hearts. If you wanna show me love, if you like the broadcast and um, you like the information that I'm sharing with you, uh, I would love for you to share it with all of your friends and followers so the more the merrier um, I have set my settings to make sure that anyone that wants to chat is someone that I follow as well on Periscope just to make sure we don't have distraction from creepers anymore like we did before and I think it's just more fun so we can enjoy this time together and not be distracted by people um, writing inappropriate things so but each week as you know here on throw it out Thursday we kick the nasty chemicals to the curb and um, today we're kicking fragrance and perfumes with chemical fragrance and synthetics to the curb and we're gonna make our own so today we're gonna talk about um, what fragrance is why it's bad for us and how to make our own without it so we're gonna do that and a couple of little housekeeping items too don't forget um, if you are just now following me or if you're not familiar with my Instagram posts or anything like that um, I did a periscope a while back a couple weeks ago on nail polish and how to um, use non-toxic nail polish and so Zoya is my favorite Z-O-Y-A and this week is my favorite week of the whole calendar for Zoya because all of their polishes are 50% off using the coupon code on their website and so if you go over to my Instagram a couple days ago I posted the uh, promo code so when you go to Zoya's website Zoya.com you use the promo code at checkout and all of your polishes I think it's up to 24 or 25 polishes at one time are half price so they're normally nine or ten dollars so that makes them for fifty or five dollars which is a really great idea and the whole idea behind it yay me too mine should be coming tomorrow or the following day 
But the whole idea behind it is that you can either exchange your old um, toxic nail polishes like OPI or SE, and you can send them to Zoya and they'll dispose of them in an eco-friendly way, or you can just um, find a way to dispose of them economically or in an eco-friendly way. Um, or even if you don't want to do that, you can just get Zoya and incorporate non-toxic polish into your life. But um, it's just a great way to incorporate wellness and educating yourself about the products that you're using and um, being aware. And that's what we do here on Thursdays. Each Thursday I talk about one different topping and so today is perfumes. But um, one last little housekeeping item as well. I've been so enjoying all of your posts and tags on Instagram and Facebook with my magnesium challenge. So it's not too late to get in on that goodness and win a whole set of the rainbow root and petal um, 10 milliliter glass roller bottles for all your essential oil blends. So if you need information on the challenge, you can pop over to my Instagram and, um, oh good, it's so good. You can pop over to my Instagram and you can find out all the details about the, um, about the contest. And um, if you have any questions about it, just send me a message and I'd be happy to help you. So, um, but first we want to talk about what is synthetic fragrance. And so synthetic fragrance is basically a catch-all miscellaneous term for the secret creeper nasty chemicals that are lurking in our products. So it's just as bad as secondhand smoke because it's extremely toxic when we breathe in. So if you're on the bus or the metro or walking down the street and you smell someone's extremely strong perfume and you start to feel lightheaded or dizzy or nauseated or your eyes burn, there's a reason. It's because it's toxic and it's not good for you. So this, the fragrance, the fragrance, which is really creepy, I mean it's just a bunch of different chemicals, is found in things like perfumes, obviously colognes, body mists, things like that. I used to, you know, collect um, Bath and Body Works body sprays like 10 or 12 at a time I would get those. Um, they're also in our detergents, in soaps, in cleaners, even in things like diapers because you guys, you know your baby's bumper does not smell like baby powder. That is not real, that is fragrance, and it's nasty. So we want that out of there. Um, we don't want that those chemicals sitting on your baby's delicate skin. So um, other things like candles and cosmetics and sunscreen, and fragrance is used to mask chemical smells, and the fragrance is made up of petroleum and tar, and that's nasty. We don't want that on our skin. We don't want to breathe that in. We don't want our kids to breathe that in either, so today we're going to make our own without that nasty stuff, because it's got to go. We're kicking it to the curb. Fragrance, you got to go. I'm shooting you down with my air bubble. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it causes all kinds of damage to our nervous system. Um, some of the reactions are the respiratory, asthma, migraines, nausea, dizziness, skin irritations, eye irritations, like I was mentioning earlier, watery eyes, you name it. It's nasty. It's got to go. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. Um, so we're going to make our own amazing perfumes with essential oils and witch hazel, which is super fun and inexpensive, and water. It's really easy, you guys. It's not rocket science. If I can do it, you can totally do it. So basics for perfume blending. Usually fragrance, um, the perfumes that you buy at the store are made up of the fragrance chemical, so the synthetic fragrance chemicals and alcohol. And the reason that alcohol is used is because it helps um, combine all the fragrances and all those smells and kind of melds the smells together to make whatever um, notes that you, the manufacturer wants you to smell. And so there are base notes, mid notes, and top notes, and that just indicates what you smell first. So you can imagine if you use your inductive reasoning that you're gonna smell the top notes first, then you're gonna smell the mid notes, and then you're gonna smell the base notes. So um, I have a list of an example of some base notes that you can use, and um, you can shoot me a message if you want, or you can watch this on replay and you can catch um, the list or just maybe make notes or whatever when you're watching again. But um, an example of a couple base notes are things like cedarwood, vetiver, ylang ylang, sandalwood, and frankincense. Some really nice earthy, strong, smells that are really nice and grounding and you can imagine why they'd be used for the base notes. So that's what you're going to smell kind of um, at the end, the lingering smell. And then some of the mid notes would be like rose, lavender, chamomile, geranium, um, balance. And those you're going to smell kind of in the middle. And then the top notes are more floral like bergamot, citrus, um, anything like citrus bliss, grapefruit, lime, um, wild orange, anything like that. So I'm going to make three blends today. I'm going to make one for Olivia, one for George, and one for me. So hopefully these will inspire you to make your own blends. You can't go wrong. Um, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have had a lot of fun making my own perfumes. And these are from the Alice in Wonderland theme that I did. Um, this is the White Rabbit. 
This is the Hatter. I posted these on Sunday. Um, this is the Cheshire Cat. It's a little bright so you can't see. And Alice. And so it's kind of fun. You can make your um, perfumes in rollers with dried herbs and dried flowers. You can do really anything you want. You can add whatever things that you like in here that look pretty or that um, have the therapeutic properties that you're looking for. These are little Roman chamomile flowers. They're really nice and cute. Um, so you can either do in a roller like in your purse. You can do the same combinations that you have in a perfume bottle as in a roller just for a convenient um, delivery system. But it's kind of nice to pamper yourself and feel like you've got your own perfume and um, you know you can just start small and gradually incorporate your own blends into your daily routine and see how you like it and see how much better you feel and you don't feel nauseous or nauseated or dizzy or anything so um, the first one we're gonna do is for George he's off today so in honor of him we're gonna do the George's cologne first and um, these come from Amazon they are just glass perfume and cologne bottles they're empty and it came in a set of four so um, it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 15 or $19 for a set of four. So this is a really good value and you can have fun playing around and make different scents for yourself or for your family members or for gifts. You know, Mother's Day is coming up. These would be a great gift idea to share with um, the moms or the women in your lives. And then um, you can also make these for Father's Day gifts. These would be great for Father's Day gifts. So we're going to start with George's Blend. And for George's Blend, we are going to use Cedarwood, which is one of his favorites and Forgive, which is super earthy and awesome, and it just smells like a lot of the great outdoorsy smells. Um, it's got spruce and um, bergamot and juniper berry and myrrh and um, arbor vitae and thyme and um, just so many really cool smells. It's really a great summer one. So this is Forgive, and then we're going to add um, lime and sandalwood. So sandalwood and cedarwood are going to be our base notes. Yeah, Forgive is so awesome. And then um, Forgive is going to be a mid note, and then Lime is going to be our top note. So I think it's going to be really nice and earthy, yet fresh, because George likes, he likes more fresh smells. He's not into the really heavy smells, he likes the, the fresh smells. So we are going to do this. So first we're going to do about, let's see, we're going to do 10 drops of our base notes. So 10 drops each of Cedarwood. If you're just joining us, we're making our own essential scents without chemicals. This is the men's cologne. Kicking our nasty chemicals to the curb. You can tap the bottom of the screen as many times as you want, even if you're watching the replay. If you want to show me some love. <laughs> All right, so that's about good for cedarwood. And again, these are our base notes. And then um, we're gonna do, we're gonna add a couple drops of sandalwood, so about five drops. One, two, three. Oh, that spilled out really fast. Okay. And then we're gonna add about um, six drops of Forgive. I don't have a website, but you can follow me on Instagram at Hillary LeMay or on Facebook. And um, if you add me on Facebook, I will add you to my um, public essential oil learning group. It's great for support and sharing this essential life with each other. Two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna add about six drops of our top note, which is lime. And then, we are going to do 50-50 witch hazel and water, and that's it, and then we've made our own cologne. Pretty neat, right? Just going to fill this up halfway with, with uh, alcohol-free witch hazel. A little messy here. So this is alcohol-free witch hazel. I like alcohol-free because, obviously, I don't want to be breathing that in. And then we're going to top it off with water. Hopefully this doesn't spill too much. Spilling a lot. There we go. Cool. And then um, what you can do is let this sit for a couple days just to let all the smells kind of combine. And then you can use it once you've let it sit for a while. And there you have your own cologne for your favorite guy in your life. Isn't that nice? No chemicals. You can kind of flip it upside down a few times if you want. I made it a little bit of a mess over here which I like to do, as Olivia would say, if we're not getting messy, we're not having fun. So yeah, there's our cologne for the G. And again, to recap, this was um, cedarwood and sandalwood as our base notes. We used um, forgive as our mid note, and we used lime as our top note. There we go. And you can use your labels. Um, you can. I have these little cute heart labels. I just put a G on it. So we can put this label on the bottle so we know 
whose is whose, and he can put this in on his little cologne shelf he has in his bathroom. Yeah, half water, half witch hazel. So um, I always use um, alcohol-free, alcohol-free, this is Thayer's alcohol-free witch hazel, it's unscented, and then um, forgive sandalwood, cedarwood, and lime. And you can catch the replay if you miss any of the measurements or any of the drop counts. You can always watch the replay for up to 24 hours after I'm done. So that was George's, and now we're gonna do Olivia's, and I got this super fancy perfume bottle on Amazon. This was like nine or ten dollars and it's so fun. Isn't this cool? Um, and I just love it. It's kind of vintage and antique and um, I just really I love this and it's so fun and um, why witch hazel? Oh it's just instead of alcohol. So I use uh, alcohol free witch hazel and it's a way to combine all of the um, all of the oils together and kind of meld them into one united scent not smelling three different essential oils so when you use the witch hazel and water yeah fancy nancy would approve when you use the witch hazel and water it helps uh, meld all of the oils together into one unified scent so when you buy synthetic fragrance perfume it has alcohol in it and the alcohol is used to unite all of those scents so instead of having to use alcohol we use witch hazel witch hazel and you can find this on amazon you can find this um at any of your vitamin shops or your local um natural markets. Okay, so for Olivia's, we are going to do, um, and this one was actually one of the ones I mentioned that I found from the original blog book um, that was inspiring me, and it's on page 154, uh, 153 in the original book, and it was called Bottled Sunshine, and it was really cute. They have this whole page worth of all different kinds of recipes for perfumes and rollers, and I thought that was really nice to adapt to a perfume bottle. And Olivia thinks it's really fun, and so she can have her own little spray bottle and have fun with it whenever she wants to. So for Olivia's perfume, we are going to use frankincense as one of our base notes, and white fur, because she loves Christmas. <laughs> and then for our mid notes, we're going to use Elevation, which of course smells like sunshine in a bottle, so she is my sunshine, our sunshine, and then Bergamot for the top note. So we're going to add about 10 drops of frankincense to our perfume bottle, and these are glass, you always want to use glass. Okay, that's 10 drops of frankincense. If you miss any of these, you can watch the replay. And we're going to do about 5 drops of white fur. This is really earthy and sweet and um, bright, so everything that she is. And then elevation, we're going to add five drops of elevation. And then we're going to end with a couple drops of bergamot. So we're going to add three drops of bergamot for our top note. Okay, So pretty. And then we are going to do, I'm going to use my funnel for this and we're going to do 50-50 Witch Hazel and Water. Let me see if I'm going to open this up. Might make it a little easier. Okay. So we're going to fill this up halfway with Witch Hazel. There we go. Okay. And then the rest of the way with water. Okay. And there is Olivia's beautiful perfume sunshine in a bottle. And then you just twist this little guy on. And that's it. And then you just let it sit for a couple days. And she's got her own beautiful perfume to have in her room and use whenever she wants to for a special occasion. And isn't that pretty? You can get this for a gift. You can give this to Mother's Day, you know, for a Mother's Day gift to someone that you know, or just for a friend's birthday. You can make their own out of their favorite essential oils. They can come over and kind of um, test them out and you can make them together. This is really a beautiful thing. And then we're going to make one for me. So for mine, we are going to use um, Whisper as the base notes. Whisper, I love this. And then we're going to use Balance as our mid notes. And Grapefruit as our top note. So I'm just going to try to screw this guy off. There we go. And we are going to do 10 drops of Whisper. Okay, 
and then our mid notes we're going to do balance and the reason that you want to do your bass notes first is um, because you want to start from the foundation so you start at the bottom and you build up so that's why we start with the bass notes um, for this perfume we're using whisper and then we build on that and we add balance as the mid note and then we um, build on that and finish with the top note of something citrusy or really bright so we're going to do five drops of balance and you can use pipettes for this if you want to um, some of the oils have a, a thicker viscosity so they're not going to come out as fast but patience is a virtue as I've learned in my 30s this does not want to come out come on alright I'm going to actually use a pipette so a little hack you just pull the reducer off with the cap and I'm just going to take some with the pipette so one, two, three, four, five drops of balance. Okay. A little trick there. And then we're going to do about five drops of grapefruit because I really like grapefruit a lot. And grapefruit's a, a citrus, so it usually comes out pretty easily. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There we go. So we did whisper, balance, and grapefruit for my blend. And then, like we did before, we're going to use our nifty funnel and our alcohol free witch hazel and just fill halfway with witch hazel and um, again as I mentioned witch hazel is just going to really combine all of the essential oils together and mesh them into one united scent so you're not going to smell one scent over another and then we're going to top it off with half water there we go and we've just made three perfumes with no synthetic fragrance franken chemicals creepy stuff in the air on our bodies, none of that. Right? Perfect for Mother's Day, for Father's Day. There you go. And then I can put my little sticker on. It says H on it. Isn't that fun? So I've made my own perfume. That smells so good. Mm. Oh wow, that's really nice. And like I said, just let it sit for a couple days um, and let the smells combine and uh, kind of adhere to the witch hazel. So it's going to add a really nice combined complex scent. So we've got the Hillary blend and we've got the G, the George's cologne and sweet Olivia's little sunshine in a bottle perfume. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, tag me on Instagram if you try any of these homemade perfumes. It's so much fun. Um, I love sharing these tips and tricks with you guys. And it's a great way to just be educated about the things that you're using, putting in your body. Because why are we spending all this money on these amazing quality vitamins and amazing quality products for our skin, for our hair, and for our insides? And then we're going to put toxic chemicals on our body. It just it doesn't make sense or breathe them in. So um I definitely recommend that you um, just enjoy your oils and the ones that you gravitate toward. Try to combine them and see what you feel and maybe do them in like a roller bottle just to try and see, you know, how you feel about the smell wearing it and before you commit to like a full size bottle and see what you think and see how you like it. Um, and I would love for you to share with me all the great combinations that you decide to make for your own perfumes. So thank you so much for joining me as always. And I'd love to connect with you on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you can email me. Um, my, my email address is on my Periscope profile page. So if you need anything, I'm always here for support. Um, just holler at me and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye!